together to address one of the most pressing environmental challenges of our times and to explore uh, actionable solutions for a sustainable and plastic-free future. To commence this auspicious event on a serene note, I invite Mr. Shaukat Ahmed Loon, Research Scholar, Department of Environmental Science, University of Kashmir, to recite few verses from the Holy Quran. Mr. Shaukat Ahmed Loon. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء عليم وإذ قال ربك للملائكة إني جائل في الأرض خليفة قالوا أتجعل فيها من يفسد فيها ويسفق الدماء. To share their ideas and the research work on the various facets of the theme from the different departments of this university and other institutions like Scott K, NIT, Central University of Kashmir, Cluster University. I am also honored to welcome heads, directors, faculty members, scientists, research scholars, students who have joined us today morning to be a part of this inaugural event at a moment of our prestigious recognition being recently conferred by NAC A++, a testimony to academic vibrancy, <laughs> excellence, impactful research footprint, robust e-governance, and highly versatile institutional practices that will hopefully lead us in the long run to achieve a mission of university to be a world-class university where knowledge is created and disseminated for human development and the welfare. Indeed, a pride moment for all stakeholders that we have achieved under the leadership of Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Nilo Farkhan. I also want to share with the audience that our department is completing 25 years of its existence in 2025. And as we plan to celebrate this year the Silver Jubilee of the department, recognized for curriculum in sync with the SDGs and the national missions, a reasonably good research output, which is socially relevant, locally need-based, nationally important, and globally significant, as evident from the good quality publications numbering more than 433, and research grants to the tune of 8.86 crores, consultancy services, especially in the field of EIA, awareness and outreach activities, and the policy formulation through expert opinion, and strengthening the science policy society interface with despite limited human resource. There is a need to reinforce our will and commitment to occupy the niches which, we have, remain, which have remained empty or partially occupied in the past through our academic and the research priority. In 1860, when we came up with the cellulite, and in 1907, when Bakelite, the first synthetically produced plastic, was introduced, since that day, uh, plastic has basically revolutionized uh, our whole uh, this and we have been using plastics in each and every we talk about anything we find plastics there. But imagine a position when in 1950 there were only 2 million tons of uh, plastic uh, waste was produced and now talk about this time when around about 400 million tons of plastic are, are being produced generated at the global level. Importantly, if we talk about uh, India, our own country, what we have seen is that at an average, uh, every year, 9.2 to 9.5 million tons of plastic waste are generated. So that makes it 0.12 kgs per capita. That's per person per day. That is an average consumption. So we can, yourself, we can ourselves imagine that how, how much we are using this plastic and this plastic has got its own detrimental impacts when we know that it, when, whenever it basically mixes with something we ingest it with our food ingestion we talk, inhale it with, through directly from the air and then we use it because we use facial creams and other creams also you have microplastics in that and they find, they find their way into our body that's very important because they have an impact on human body they have an impact on our aquatic life. Thousands of tons of yay find their way into our water bodies and oceans. And this is how they get polluted. They affect our marine life. And that ultimately leads to the death of more than 19 species have been identified here and they have resulted into extinction of those species because of microplastics. 
if we talk about my own UT. Uh, in 2023-24, it was estimated, this is an estimation, that around about 38,000 tons were produced annually. So, if I take my own Kashmir University, at an average, if I say that 500 plastic bottles are used per day, per day, I'm not talking about biryani boxes and other things, just taking plastic bottles of different sizes per day, that makes this 15,000 bottles per month. And if I take it annually, it makes 100, 100, 1,80,000 bottles per year. So this is how, this is a simple statistics which you can, a common man can basically talk about and we can know how we are using plastics. And then, importantly, so what we need to do is that we need to take a pledge, we need to basically decide, we need, we talk about sustainability, we talk about sustainable life, but important is that we need to basically incorporate these ideas, these initiatives, we need to start from our own places, from our homes, from our university. Pollution is a, you know, all of us, you know, know that pollution has becoming, it is becoming day by day more and more severe problem and affecting the lives of the, not only the people, affect, affecting all fauna and flora. Plastics is one of the major issues. If you will, wherever we go, for example, I, I have grown up in a uh, village where this, this problem was not there. So I used to go to take water from the any stream for drinking, for bathing. But now the same stream is choked by the plastics. So plastic is there. We are talking, since then, we are talking that we need not to use plastic, whether it is at campus scale or at village scale or at town scale or at state scale. So at government level it is banned, but practically it is there. So it means that this is a problem. We need to understand, problem is there. Not only choking rivers, not only choking the water bodies, but now it has been found, it has come down to the, uh, you know, human blood. Now the microplastic has entered into human blood. So still work is going on that what type of problem it can create to the humans by entering into the blood stream. So I would say two things. One, government has to play active role in you know making it you know accountable that this is the plastic you are selling these things plastic should not litter around you one second any shopkeeper there should be no plastic outside his uh, uh, shop and second is that is one part that what government has to do but as a scientist we are here as academicians as scientists our job is to find the solution to the get rid of this problem so taking this you know assembling all the pop in this uh, plastic and making a heap somewhere, that is not a solution. That is okay, we are just temporarily sending it to somewhere. But our job is to give a solution. Professor Parve Saab and Professor Jilani Saab, they talked much about this today's event. Parve Saab talked about the data regarding this, how much plastic is being consumed. I remember when we were getting examined by the NAC just in the last week, 10 days before, so this was one of a very important component that how our caps looks like. Of course, it's very green. It looks very beautiful. It looks very neat and clean. But then there are challenges itself. And one of the challenges that we have is the plastic, be it the plastic. Now the thing is that as a student of the university or as an administrator of the university or as in any capacity, have we been able to take this slogan to the logical end, to the logical conclusion. So this is a matter of debate. This will be a very important question for all of us. We are doing a lot of research. Professor Jelani talked about that we have a mega research project. I am very happy to know about that. But at the same time, we have to always see the outcome of that project. How much we have been, because see, uh, for a university with A++ now, we are, we are, we, we were already answerable, but we will be more answerable now. What, what will be our contribution to the society? It's not necessary always that we can take the students for a very special program in the conference hall and address them. No, we can have even road shows. At least society should learn from us. I am a teacher, I am a student, whatever I am, but I am performing my duties. 
so whatever i will give the output that output is to be conveyed to the society because society watches us very closely so we need solutions and those solutions should come from us the secretary general of united nations goterus said i quote that the plastic is spreading it is spreading so fast that its particles can be seen on the top of mount everest to the depth of the ocean in all parts of the earth from brain to kidneys and coat so this was held recently and what pledge they have taken has already been discussed and hopefully the new environment day next year in 2026 will be in azerbaijan now the theme of this current environment day was beat plastic pollution and this is not the first time that this was the theme kept by united nations in fact in 2023 i think or 2024 it was held in ivory coast there also the theme was similar to this and the theme was solutions to plastic pollution my dear friends who is creating these problems this is not nature creating these problems in fact nature has clearly said and i quote chapter number 2 verse number 30 in quran or chapter number 25 verse number 63 where it is clearly said that i have made the earth for you to enjoy but you have to protect it for future generations so solution is already there imagine the life before the invention of these plastics which is the main theme of this event it was still better now imagine there's a wedding in our part of world or a function in my friend's house and when gustava is served we take it in the plastic we are very happy to receive that gustava in the plastic and my friends we don't know that the gustava is very hot and the plastic is there it melts and we swallow that has anybody raised the question there plastics everywhere the shopkeepers can anybody has the courage to ask this shopkeeper well you are using these plastics why you are throwing on the front of your shop which is a road which belongs to everyone no we cannot do it my friend solutions are already there it needs a strong conscious if we have a strong conscious we can change the tide definitely uh, you know we organize the programs we organize the weeks but then what next as some of the concerns were put up by the faculty in fact those concerns are still there uh, i feel uh, you know uh, we need to change our uh, you know mindset and we need to be little assertive we have to make little efforts efforts in the sense whenever i leave in the evening when i see the lawn of uh, management studies all littering around although so many dustbins are there when i went with the delegation of uh, university team to us i was drinking water again it was a plastic bottle the uh, cap of the uh, bottle fell down i was moving down the stairs maine zehmat nahi ki ke i pick up the uh, cork of that particular bottle but there was a small child who was coming down with his parents chota tha mujhe lagta hai 3 saal ka tha he took the cap and he gave that cap to me so what is this i think this is the awareness this is the education this is the concern which parents give to their ch- children right from their home then it goes to the day care it goes to the preschool it goes to the school i think this is how you know this is embedded in their mind i was really astonished and from uh, you know that day onwards you know i am very careful because that was a learning for for me it was a learning experience for me i am sure ki you know uh, department of environmental science has very good projects no doubt about it we have very good projects earth sciences hai baki botany hai everywhere but definitely this should be our main concern what are we passing 
to our new generation? That's the main question right now. So I think for this, we definitely need to uh, work hard and have some, uh, you know, uh, strategy, uh, some strategic plan. This is what uh, we need uh, to have. And have a program, yearly program, connected with the society, connectivity with the schools, connecti uh, connectivity with the colleges, connectivity with our own, uh, you know, schools. How the solutions could, should come from the students, should definitely come from the research scholars. What type of program we can make so that it is more impressive, it is more workable and it is more impactful. Randomly, kuch areas select kare, randomly schools ko select kare, colleges ko select kare. They can be your ambassadors. They can be your task force, which can, uh, you know, move forward. I was asking Parvesa right now, let EMMRC prepare a, a film in Kashmiri, uh, in Kashmiri or Urdu, which is more impactful. Screen out kare, you know through director education, could be a compulsory screening uh, in the schools. Thoda sa mindset unka agar hum change kar sakte hai, ki ghar mein, uh, how they can take care, when they come to the schools, how they can take care. Kahin na kahin, you know, if not all, but some percentage will be able to, you know, impress and change their mindset. I will definitely look, uh, you know, uh, forward to it. It gives me an immense pleasure to an honor to give a vote of thanks at the inaugural session of the one-day seminar on the theme Beat Plastic Pollution, organized in the observance of World Environment Week. On behalf of organizing committee, I extend the deepest gratitude to the chief guest and the president of today's seminar, Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, Professor Nilo Khan, for graciously accepting our invitation for her inspiring presidential address. I am equally honored to thank Professor Sharifuddin Pizada, Dean Academic Affairs, University of Kashmir, Professor Gulam Jina, Lee Dean School of Earth and Environmental Sciences.